Union Senator Tom Cotton, Republican out of Arkansas, member of the Senate Armed Services Committee. And Senator, good morning to you today. Uh, the uh, foreign minister in go. Ukraine put a fine point on this, saying that a country cannot be half invaded. Are we making progress on this or not, do you believe? Unfortunately, Bill, I don't think so. Uh, our Secretary of State met with the Russian Foreign Minister this morning. As is often the case throughout history, I don't think that was diplomacy trying to avoid a war on Russia's part. I think it was diplomacy stalling until the conditions are right for war, which for Russia are getting all of its troops in place and, and waiting for the right weather conditions. All this, though, is happening not in a vacuum, but in a year, in the context of a year of President Biden's appeasement of Russia. In the first months in office, he gave away the store on a nuclear arms treaty to Vladimir Putin. Then he allowed Vladimir Putin to continue to construct the gas pipeline that's going into Germany. And then, of course, Vladimir Putin saw the debacle in Afghanistan that exposed President Biden as weak uh, and feckless. And then just a couple days ago, uh, he heard exactly what Joe Biden said mm -hmm. when he went off script, not when he was reading from talking points, not when he sent out underlings to uh, speak about what he meant. He spoke about, quote, a minor incursion. Uh, or like the president of Ukraine alluded to, incursions are kind of like surgeries. They're only minor when they happen to someone else. Mm -hmm. Now is the time to try to avoid this war in Eastern Europe. The last thing the American people want to see is a war that undermines any of our interest in Europe. So we need to continue to provide the Ukrainians the weapons they need to defend their own country. And we need to make it clear the sanctions and other economic and financial consequences Russia will face if they invade Ukraine again. And we need uh, uh, our NATO partners to be united with us on that as well. I want you to look at a media montage. Of, of, of mass, I'm sorry, this is uh, of administration officials. You have Blinken, Saki, Harris. Everybody was out trying to figure out a way to put uh, the president's comments back in a bottle. Did it work? Let's take a look. We've been clear. I think you heard very clearly multiple times last night from the president. The president has been crystal clear. Let me be very clear on what the president has conveyed directly to President Putin. The president was very clear. He's got a plan to do that. It is clear to us that, that the, the decision is probably in his hands. We are clear and have been clear for quite some time. Senator, in my experience, if it's clear, you don't need to have lots of different people explaining how clear it is. Yeah, I think it's clear as mud, Dana. Uh, another telling moment when Joe Biden went off script was yesterday when your own Jackie Heinrich asked a very good question. Why is he sitting around waiting for Vladimir Putin to make the first move? And he called that a stupid question. Actually, it's a very good question, not just about Ukraine, but about foreign policy under the Biden presidency in general. Look, when it comes to international politics, either you run the show or the show runs you. And for the last year, President Biden has been allowing the show to run things. And that's why our adversaries, not just Vladimir Putin, but Xi Jinping and the Chinese Communist Party, have been taking advantage of us at every turn. It's time to get off the back foot and get on the front foot to get the outcome that Americans want, which is to avoid a war in Europe that undermines our interests. The Senator, last question here. You heard what Mitch McConnell had. He had three specific ideas for how you could help Ukraine now defend itself. Is there a motion for this to happen? There is. It needs to be happening faster and at a higher volume. Uh, the Biden administration has dithered for too long, not just in providing Ukraine with our weapons to defend against Russian armored columns or Russian aircraft, but approving our allies in NATO who want to do this. Oftentimes they need American approval because yeah. it's American technology. And just yesterday, did they finally give approval to some of our NATO partners? We need to accelerate those approvals. We need to allow our European partners to do their part to protect European security, because ultimately they have to do as much as we're willing to do to help deter this invasion from happening. As much as the American people don't want to see a major conflict in Europe, you would have to assume that the European peoples don't want to see one even more. We need to stand with them and encourage them to do more. Senator, Senator Tom Cotton, thank you so much. Uh, we'll here. probably be talking to you next week as well. Thank you. We appreciate it. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.